welcome to Chris's Magic. Thank you so much for watching. This is tutorial week this week. So if you like the tutorial, please hit like, subscribe, notification bell button, and add any comments or suggestions into the comments section. It's not a card trick, it's not card control. It's a flourish. So a flourish is just something fancy that looks quite good in a routine or and looks quite fancy in a routine or a card trick. So this is the card spring. So you do this generally before you shuffle the deck or just any time when you're not really doing anything. So here's what it looks like. Like so. Let me show you that again. And there we go. So how do we do the card spring? It's all about pressure and the releasing of pressure. So you, you'll notice I was doing it face up and then face down. That's only because uh, to create the pressure in the cards, you have to bend the deck uh, and swapping them over just doesn't make it bend in one way or the other. So the cards generally remain quite straight. But anyway, this is the main. You, you're going to want to square the cards up. So they're squared up like this. And you want your middle finger on the outside edge. To, uh, so I, I'm right-handed here, so I'm holding, well, left-handed card holder. But in this particular thing, the left hand, it's going to be the catch in hand. So the right hand, I've got my ring index. Let me start again. I've got my middle finger on the top right corner and my thumb on the bottom left corner, like so. And the other, yeah, the other fingers just add on. So I just add the middle finger. You can add the index finger on the uh, right edge. I've got the index finger just to the left of uh, the middle finger. And what you're doing with your thumb, uh, let me, yeah, there we go is you're pushing down. So from here, you're pushing inwards. So away from yourself. And what that will do is create a bend like this. You can see that. And the way you spring the cards is you just release the pressure from your thumb. And you'll see them spread out like this. Dropped a couple there. So again, Middle finger, top right corner, thumb, bottom left corner. Index finger, just a bit support on the top. Bend, push your thumb in to create that bend. Release your thumb. So if I do it on the table here, you'll see them all fall down like so. And that's the releasing of pressure. And it is the thumb that releases the pressure and creates the pressure. If I create the bend and take my middle finger away, you still see the bend there. But then if I take my thumb away, they fall down. So the first thing I'd recommend is just practicing this. So the positions there, create the bend and then release your thumb, put them into your hand. Like so. Obviously, the pressure will be greater when there's more cards because they're uh, it's thicker. And as you release the cards, there'll be less pressure because there's less cards. So that's what I'd recommend first off. Again, middle finger, top right corner, thumb, bottom left corner, index finger. It's a bit of support on the top part. Use your thumb to push away from you to create that bend. Hand catches them. Release the thumb to let them all go down like so. And once you've done that and mastered that and comfortable with that, you can start trying to spring them from a bit further distance. So again, create the bend. Hand down there and a bit further away this time. Now. You've seen there that the cards have gone all over the place. Don't be discouraged when you're learning this because that will happen. 
uh, they will go all over the place. I remember doing this, it fell under the sofa, a load of them fell under the sofa, I had to move the sofa to co collect the cards because what needs to happen is your, your fingers and hands need to get the muscle memory of the, the, the kind of sweet spot to spring the cards so they don't go everywhere. So it's just unfortunately a lot of practice. So once you get the practice, you'll get them fairly flush. Not quite flush there, but you know, a lot better than it was before. And it's just a lot of practice to do that. Uh, stop them flying everywhere. The other thing you can do to do that is uh, your hand can be like a claw. So instead of having it flush like this and they'll fall out, if you curl your fingers up, it creates a kind of almost bowl. So the cards aren't gonna fly down that way because your, your fingers are curled up. And they're gonna get trapped in your fingers. So that's what I'd recommend. Do it first off really close just to get the action of the spring. When you get comfortable with that, a bit further away, use your hand as a kind of bowl. And then when you've got really comfortable with that, you can stop going vertically and go horizontally, like so. And again, they'll go everywhere at the start. Because you need to find that sweet spot of the, just the, the amount of pressure you need and the releasing of the pressure and how quickly you release the pressure. If you release them, if you release them very slowly, they're not going to fly that far. Right, so if you release them very quickly, well, they will fly the same kind of distance, but yeah, I've said that completely wrong. Ignore that part. Uh, the, 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 the quickness of the pressure releasing doesn't really affect the distance, although because the distance is decided by how big the bend is. Like so, so you can see that there. But it's easier to maintain uh, the control of where they go, depending on how quickly you release the cards. So if you do them slowly, they're all going to go round about the same place. And if you do them quickly, they're more likely to fly around all over the place, like so. So again, unfortunately, it's that sweet spot, finding that sweet spot to figure out, you know, your sweet spot on how you can catch them quickly. Uh, and when you do get that, then you can do them horizontally. Again, a little kind of claw. And then you can catch them like that. And what you can do when you've really got the hang of it is as you spring them, you can move your hands about like so and further away as you're springing them. So like that. And that is essentially card springing, just a flourish, not needed for a trick or anything like that. Uh, it just looks quite good uh, when you've uh, got the hang of it. And, you know, I'm still not that great at it. So they will fly around and, and land all over the place every now and then. But every now and then I'll get them quite good as well. And that is card springing tutorial. Hopefully you liked it. Let me know how you get on with that. If you do try that and how, how you get on, uh, how long it took you to learn. And we'll be back next week with a new trick. Thank you so much for watching.